people what up YouTube it's your boy diamonds here at common sense graphics today in this video I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to create a really cool looking emerald gem or diamond in Adobe Illustrator in a few simple easy steps and you can make it look like whatever you want and make it really pop out and shine but let's jump right into the video so step number one begins with selecting the polygon tool then dragging your cursor over your artboard and then using the arrow keys to select which shape you wish to desire to use in this case gonna be using a triangle Make sure to hold down shift on your triangle to make sure that it's level before you start adding colors to your image. Now when it comes down to it, you can make your color scheme whatever you want it to be. In my case, I'm choosing green, but to make one thing very clear and very important to you is to make sure that you have a good variety of shades of that color and make sure it's nice and bright and vibrant. For me, I'm choosing green because mine's going to be an emerald, so you can make yours be a ruby, a sapphire, diamond, whatever you want it to be. After that, center your image, then flip it over by holding shift, and then drag out the sides just to make it a little bit more wider, and then center it again, just so you can make sure that you have that really nice base for your image. The next step is to duplicate your image. The easiest way how to do this is holding shift and alt, and then using the arrow keys just to nudge the image over by one pixel space. So you do that, and then it's there, and then you can hold shift down to nudge it back, and then you can change the colors of your image to make it be a little bit lighter or darker, depending as you see here. And then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to shrink the image down just a little bit, just to make it line up with the bottom image. And then from there, all you gotta do is just take the anchor points and then just bring them in a little closer, use the selection tool to drag the bottom down, and then use it on the top, do the same thing, and then there you go, you have the bottom of your emerald or your gem complete, just as simple as that. Let's continue on. So what I did on my next step is I duplicated the bottom object, the dark green part of my image, and then I just dragged it to the top and then I right clicked, transform, reflect or rotate, and I changed it to 190 degrees to flip it over. And then after that, I changed the color for it to match the lighter shade green that I have because the top of the emerald or gem is going to be a brighter color than the bottom. And then after that, what I did, I decided to select the entire bottom layer image of the emerald and I decided to lock it so I don't click on it by accident or anything like that, just so it's out of the way and out of the mind. And then on the next step, what I did is I did rinse and repeat with the duplicating. I dragged it up just a little bit, changed the color to a lighter color just to show the highlights of the emerald. Then I brought it back down to match it up. Then I dragged it down to a point where I think where I would find a good spot to cut off the top upper half of the image. So what I'm going to do next is pretty much optional if you want to. Um, I wanted the top of my emerald to be angled instead of just the basic flat top. So I use squares to do this and I changed the color, made them in between the light and dark of the majority of the colors where it's not darker than the bottom but it's also not as light as the very top. And so what I did after that is I just angled them a little bit just to give it this uh, peaking effect at the top of the image and you can see me doing it right here and it's very simple super easy and then I just lined it up with the peak of the middle triangle and um, if you do everything correctly it'll come out right and don't worry about things overlapping we'll go over that in just a second once you got everything lined up and stuff making it look all good it's time to get rid of all the excess images so select everything go to object and expand and then go to pathfinder window and then click on the divide button and then using your selection tool you're able to just delete part of the images that you just don't want there i made a little hiccup right here where things weren't lined up so i just lowered them down just a little bit and then i just rose things up just to give it that nice top upper curvature for my image what i was looking for ahead of time and it just looks really nice when you add a little bit of extra flair like what I did here with mine by adding that little bit of curve to the top instead of having it just be a straight flat top image because I've seen plenty of diamonds and emeralds and images on the internet where the top is just very flat minimalist as it is it's just not good looking to me and then you just delete and then at that you're pretty much good to go you can finish up with any last ditch efforts to make your image stand out and flare but that's pretty much it just have fun with it thanks for watching my videos it's your boy diamonds here at common sense graphics hope you guys enjoy it rate comment subscribe if you guys want more videos like this more minimalist videos please let me know down below in the comments your boys here your boys out